Hello everyone, this is Seth Spawn, and welcome back to episode 16 of my Roman Section 2.5 Pontus Campaign. We are actually finally getting ready to move on the Ptolemies here, as soon as this catapult gets down here and joins this army, we will be able to get everything moving, so let's see. We need to remove at least one unit. So it might just be this allied phalangite unit here. Either that or one of my heavy cav units since I'm going to be primarily doing siege battles here if everything goes as planned. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, you know what, heavy cav is only going to be so useful inside a city, so... Let's get them down here. And let's see. It'll be another turn or two before we start, but we're definitely getting close here, guys. Just a matter of time at this point. Move him over here. And I do think I'm going to take a little bit of money this turn and recruit as another spy. Then we can keep a little bit closer eye on Pergamon and make sure we're not going to be caught unawares. And what is going on with the Mesha? It's all of a sudden making quite a bit less. It could just be because of that catapult and a couple extra things we built. No, we're definitely making a lot less money for whatever reason here. Let me see if I can't figure anything out here. That's definitely not useful. So yeah, um... I wonder if our guy just got a trait that didn't turn out well. Yeah, we're in a minor recession because of those extra troops we trained, so... Hopefully taking this land from the Ptolemies should help to turn that back around and really get our economy going. But for now, let's do what we can with Amasia here. I don't think anyone's... Oh, Apamea is unhappy, so we'll go to them first. Oh, right. They're expanding. That's why. So nothing we can do for them there until that's done. And Antioch's not overly happy, so let's help them. Wow. They... I wonder if they have a spy in here. That's my guess, because they were doing just fine not long ago. Let's give them a palestra. Okay. This army's just back on the way to Garrison Antioch after saying hello to our many and neighbors. Go ahead and give them some rural community control. It's cheap and easy. Now I'm Asia. You need to keep making more money so you'll get the large Temple of Demeter. Not a whole lot of cash left. Let's build that and that'll be my money for the turn here. Let's go ahead and end it. Oh my lord. We're just not going to catch a break here. <laughs> they got an emergent that's that emergency army that came back. Fantastic. Well guys, we have some interesting battles ahead of us. This is going to be a massacre. I'm gonna fight it just to maximize any casualties I possibly can, but I'll see you on the battlefield. This should be Alright guys, I'm deployed. This is going to be a pretty quick battle. My main goal is just going to be to go after these elephants here, see if we can't kill them. And if we do, we'll count that as something of a success. But it looks like they're going to go for these catapults instead, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, they're not all the way through yet. It seems to do that every once in a while and glitches and thinks it's through when it's not. Okay. Crap, so let's get our other unit of Peltists over this way. Good, we're firing on those elephants. 
Oh yeah, we already ran those amok. Good lord. I think we might need to beef the stats up a little higher than we have them. Because, well, we don't want them to be too ridiculous. It's also kind of pathetic when it's that easy, you know? The enemy are through the walls. Now we must fight all the harder in our defense. Not sure what these archers think they're going to accomplish, but not going to waste my javelins on them if I can help it. Let's turn regular arrows on. Target these guys. Pull back, guys. Oh, nice. <laughs> they just took out their own general. That's awesome. Wait, 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 wait. Stay where you are. Alright, you guys just go into guard mode. And throw your javelins. You fall back over here. You guys get set up over here. And get as many kills on them as we can. What are you doing? And let's just throw our javelins into this tight little pack here. So yeah, we're, we're obviously going to lose this battle, but I really want to thin this army out as much as possible. Okay, so they've used all their javelins, we're going to rush them back here and try to hold here, and we're going to move one archer unit over this way. Okay. Come on guys, hurry up and do what I told you to. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Why aren't you moving this way, guys? Come on. I don't think that's going to do any good. They are officially splitting up their troops. Alright, I just want to back them up so they'll be able to still shoot here while they fight my guys who can't route in the square. And hopefully they'll get some kills. Who's shooting at them? Someone is. Probably these horse archers. Either way, we've taken out 12% oh, of them, which really isn't bad considering what we had to work with. Are you kidding me? That archer unit routed... Oh well. We'll just have them fight from the city square. We've pretty much done the damage we're going to do. Any other kills we get at this point are just going to be luck. But we might as well do what we can. We'll just triple speed it here. and fight to the bitter end so yeah <laughs> at this point we don't really have any melee troops so we're not gonna get many more kills yeah we killed 208 of them whatever we probably got rid of those elephants or at the very very worst they should be drastically the very best it should be drastically reduced. Alright guys, well it looks like we have a similar situation. I forgot to hit the recording button fast enough and they went ahead and just besieged this next fort. Um, I am going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to show it here because it's just going to be more the same, but either way, we'll start it up. I might just triple speed it or something because it's going to be pretty darn quick here. I have one less archer unit. I still have my two skirmishers here, but... They recovered quite a few more elephants than I would have liked. They're all the way back up to 21, unfortunately. So, at least 21 men. I don't know if that's 21 elephants. I think they have a couple men on each tower on the elephants, so we'll see. Alrighty. This is just going to be more of the same here.
All right, let's start this up. We're just gonna triple speed for now. Okay, yep, they're going for those catapults first again. So let's go ahead and set up our guys here. See if we can get these guys to run amok again. That's probably going to be most of our uh, kills if they do. Heck, those elephants probably got quite a few more kills than we did last round. Come on, kill those elephants. Run amok. Run amok. Okay. Stop targeting them. Let's target something else here. I want to keep them alive to wreck their own troops if we can. Uh, sadly, those chariots seem to... Ah, uh, nope. They're all gone. But hopefully that means they shouldn't recover, which is a victory in and of itself for us, pretty much. So let's triple speed it from here for the moment. Okay, we'll go ahead and pull back to the city square here. Nothing else that's going to be gained from sitting there and routing outside of it. The walls have fallen. Your general has thrown away his life and now feeds the carrion birds. His men may soon be bird feed too. Okay, so in the end this wasn't nearly as successful as the last one, but the elephants should all be dead, so that's what really matters. So really now they've got, looks like, their phalanx elements left, a little bit of their cav left, their chariots and their catapults. So yeah, we only got 60 kills, but those were the elephants mainly, so I'll take it. Okay, now let's hope they don't move on to Laodicea, because they still do have catapults, and they do not. So that's something at least. Well, we lost two battles, and we lost our forts, but we did not lose a city yet, so that's good. Hmm. I think we have what we need to um, take them out here pretty well. I might even just besiege this fort. We'll see. Let's go ahead and move him this far for now, though. I hate those um those recessions. They just kill your economy. It's frustrating. Okay, we're gonna get him right to the border here, and we're going to go ahead and end our alliance. We're not gonna declare war because I don't want them to attack us next turn, but we are going to. Just get that out of the way. Move out. Ready to so Go ahead and build a watchtower here, and let's see. Go. This is still rebel land, so Orders. we're gonna move right here. Hopefully, those rebels won't attack us since we are in Ptolemaic lands. Now we may take a hit from that, but I'd rather do that than get attacked by this big rebel army here for no reason. We'll worry about taking that region later. For now, our target is the Ptolemies. Okay, now for what money we do have. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and beef up the defenses over here in Satala, since we are worth our many now, technically. I don't have any real defense over here besides these forts. The garrisons are pretty small, so... I'm pretty much just going to hope that they don't attack us in this area. We'll see what happens. I'm sure we can muster something together if they do, but 
I really don't want to get to that point. I do think we're just going to go ahead and besiege here. I'm not planning on actually um, assaulting, I'm just going to wait the requisite three turns or see if they sally out to me before that. Okay, now let's get that spy we trained over here in Apamea. Or in Amasia. Correction. Okay, Tavion has lightly garrisoned, that's good. Okay, my other spy is over here. Alright. Well, I don't think there's a whole lot else to do. I'll go ahead and make another unit here, a cheap one, just to help add to the garrison and the happiness. That's probably why they got unhappy since we uh we left the city so low garrisoned. I kinda wondered. Slipped my mind. Okay. Let's end the turn and see what happens. I'm going to make a quick save first. Pull down the fort. Oh, we're going to have to pay to rebuild that fort. Fun. Good lord. Our economy is just worsening and worsening. This is ridiculous. Are we in a major recession now, or what? Economic depression, yep. That is ridiculous. Gosh, I hate that so much. Taking these settlements better fix this, otherwise we are in trouble. As it is, unless we have to, I don't even think I'm going to be building much of anything right now. Okay. We can't take both of these in one turn, unfortunately. Holy crap. So Halicarnassus has a pretty damn big garrison. I don't know how healthy they are. Let's get my spy over here. They are quite healthy. Now, it looks like it wouldn't be terribly difficult to beat, especially on the open field. It's uh, actually, I'd kind of rather fight it in the city. It's tons of cavalry. They still have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight units of heavy infantry and some skirmishers, but I think we could take them. Oh, wow, they've got that there, too. They got more forces here than I assumed they would have had. But for now, let's just go ahead and start this warg off. And you get one killed their alliance with Macedon. That's good. Yes, Prepare for battle. Okay. This should be a pretty easy battle. Let's go for it. Make a battle save just in case. Haven't had any crashes, but it doesn't hurt to be careful. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm ready to start the battle here. I'm honestly probably just going to show you some highlights here because this is going to be lengthy just due to the fact of the city size. But um, I'll come back to you when we get to some action and I'll see you shortly. Alright guys, this is probably a pretty good time to go ahead and jump back in. I'm basically ready to attack the walls. They've brought most of their troops up here to defend them. I've knocked two holes so far, and I'm in the process of knocking a third. I've taken all of these towers. My archers have done a little bit of casualties to any troops that have been stupid enough to camp around here, and I'm trying to weaken these cavalry as much as possible. And as soon as I've gotten this here, I'm going to go ahead and rush in. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start sending these guys over here. The gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. And I'll speed this up in just a second. But our quickest route through the city is as such, and it's just going to be right along there. 
So we're basically just going to rush most of our infantry in here, hold this unit in the flanks. I really don't want to just fight these phalanx units head on if I don't have to. And yeah, it's not going to be anything too crazy here, so I'm going to bring my archers up to support. And I'll probably triple speed this here in just a second. See if I can't get a volley off on these guys before my infantry get in the way. Eh. Yeah, I might have scared them off for us. So yeah, this is not going to be anything too exciting, but I figured I'll at least show the highlights. So let's go ahead and start speeding it up here. Apparently our archer killed our general. Pretty sweet. You guys go right here. Okay, you guys go ahead and rush in. You guys go ahead and rush in. You guys. See if we can't just throw your javelins. Well, they might even leave if we do that. That'd be awesome. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and sneak in there. Send up their numbers enough that we can probably take them out regardless. Okay. You guys just rush... Oh, are you too big to really line up there? There we go. Go right about there. You guys just start heading this way. You guys crush them. See if we can't get through their formation and surround them a little bit here. Make their make them drop their spears. All right, let's try that. Didn't really work as well as I would have liked, but that's no big deal. I think I'm actually going to try something back them off there. I might be able to hit them in the rear if they follow me. Okay, so over here they're just crashing against our Thrakatai. And they're worse for the wear for it. Let's turn our archer fire off so we minimize friendly fire casualties. Oh, and those Caladian Mountaineers routed, so let's go ahead and kill this general bodyguard unit. General himself has already been murdered. Alright. Let's check back with our Thrakatai over here. They did not disengage nearly as cleanly as I would have liked, and they're trying to re-engage, actually. I guess that's my fault for tangling them up on purpose, but still. Come on, guys. Alright, you know what? Re-engage, you guys head this way. See if we can't just flood them here. Okay, you guys head this way. And once I take out the resistance on the walls, I'm just going to cut away again probably until we get back to the city square. Okay, good. We just routed them. So I am going to cut away until we get to the final little stand here. Alright guys, we are ready to begin the final assault here. So we're going to rush these guys in. Oh, apparently we have a couple units that aren't quite here yet, but I'm not even going to worry about waiting for them. So you guys just rush in here as quick as you can. And we're going to just get our cavalry around the flank here, and it should be pretty cut and dried. They should start charging us any second. Wow, <laughs> they've got one cavalry guy and 58 levy pikemen, so... This will be quick even without the cavalry. But the cavalry should be the icing on the cake for us. Let's just go ahead and start attacking here. Not really worried in the least. You guys can worry about this cavalry unit. Okay. Now you can join the rest. Let's see. You guys go off a of fire at will for the moment. Let's see, we might let our Scythian Royal Cav have the fun here. 
What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Good lord, dude. That was not necessary. I told you to go around. Whatever, it broke their formation. Not in the, hardly any point in rear charging at this point. There's 20 of them left. Let's murder them here. Yep, that's the battle, guys. So, our first city taken from the Ptolemies. I believe this one is Patara, I want to say. We'll find out when we get back to the campaign map. Oh no, this was side. Okay, let's depopulate. Kill this tax building. Kill the Egyptian army base there. Hey, maybe that'll help get us out of our depression. Just sack the, sack the cities and destroy their buildings. Who knows? Still pretty unhappy with us. But hey, can't really blame them. All right. Since they're Egyptian, they'll have this nice little culture penalty for us. Isn't that happy? This battle, I don't even think I'm going to bother. Yeah, fighting. It's just the general, so we'll just auto-resolve this. Okay, no problem there. Depopulate. Kill the tax building. And the army base. Wow, oh, yeah. And all of a sudden we have a decent bit of cash. So that's pretty sweet. Go ahead and build a garrison for each of these. Tarsus, go ahead and get us... Oh, you can't. Never mind. Mazika, go ahead and give us another general here. Okay. And, wow, yeah, that got us another good chunk of uh, Asia Minor here. The Ptolemies just have Halicarnassus and Cyprus left for us to take. So, let's go ahead and build a couple ships down here at Antioch. Nothing too crazy. Well, we'll just make it three triremes here. They shouldn't be fighting any fleet battles, just transporting our armies. Okay, and neither of our armies really took significant casualties, so we should be able to continue on pace with our occupation here. Let's see. Hold on. There we are. Okay, let's go ahead and use some of the money we got to go ahead and build a few things for us. I'm going to try to focus it on economic buildings since we are in a depression at the moment. So now what resources do you have? You have timber. And that's about it. You have some metals over here. This will give you the Shrine of Demeter. Trapezus. Oh... I don't think you're really going to benefit much from those mines. Nope, not at all. We could go ahead and make them an economic city. It's expensive, but it should be worth it. Oh, let's do it. We have the money, so... Put it to good use while we can. Go ahead and move our diplomat over this way. He's not really any use over there now. Yes, my lord. Adios. And we'll leave our spy here so we can see exactly what the Ptolemies are doing. Oh, and since we're at war with the Greeks, we might just grab uh, Rhodes while we're over here as well. I forgot we were even still at war with them. It's been so long since we messed with them. 
I would have assumed they would have asked for a ceasefire already, but maybe since they hold these areas that are only just separated by the coast, they're not going to ask. They'd make decent trading partners, but oh well. And I think that's going to be the end of our turn here. Whew, good lord, Amazia, you have seen better days, that is for certain. At your service. Moving into position. Good lord, that is a haven of rebels here. I see why Pergamum has not taken it. Wow. I am making no money whatsoever. This depression needs to go away fast. Now we're in a major depression? What is... I don't get this at all. Like, I don't get what controls this. Mystifying. Hmm. Why is none of... Okay. See, so yeah, I really, I mean, our army upkeep's fairly high, but it's not much over our taxes. And those taxes would be, everything would be far higher if we weren't in a depression, so it's not nearly as bad as it looks. Or it wouldn't be. Yes, Orders, sir, sir. Let's go ahead and reorganize this so these guys aren't in the front Orders. in case we do any more auto-resolves on a city in the future. It seems like it tends to give the casualties most to whoever's first in the unit list. Yes, Stratigos. Yes, Stratigos. My lord. My lord. Well, they're super happy. But that'll take care of that. And I will probably have to sink most of my money that I am making, such as it is, into these cities to keep them happily garrisoned for the moment, but eh, we all have to make sacrifices. Wow, they really don't seem to be all that profitable either, so that's unfortunate. Either way, it's one step towards taking Pergamon's territories, and Pergamon, the city itself, should be fabulously wealthy. It always seems to be, so that should give us a real economic boost once we get towards that goal. Of course, that'll be a much more difficult war, more likely, but oh well. We're going to move this army right here just to see if we can't maybe provoke a siege battle, or a field battle. Now, they sent off some troops somewhere. I wonder if they put them on a ship or something. Interesting. Let's go ahead and build... Two units of Rodian Slingers here just to help that garrison out a little bit. And next turn we should be fighting the Seleucids. There's no way they're just going to surrender with as many troops as they have. I swear to God we kill those elephants now twice. How do they keep getting those back? I don't care if they win the battle. If every single elephant in that unit is dead, it shouldn't be recovering. That's frustrating. Oh well. I think we're just going to hold on to the money we do have in case of emergency and we're going to end the turn. Okay, good. And we did get a field battle. This should be a slaughter. Let's see if the AI derps on this field of battle, or if they actually act, well, like, intelligent, as their artificial intelligence would imply.